Hello, this is Bishop, and this is a test of Autopilot version 8.1-2018, 10.48BBDC66. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so this is a test of the first new Autopilot version that apparently has gotten some significant upgrades in functionality, even though the release notes don't really say anything to that effect. So this will be the first of what are probably going to be many videos that I'm going to do on this version. Uh, I'm also going to be, this is, does look interesting, I'm also going to be holding the autopilot to somewhat of a higher standard as far as these tests go. I'm not going to be looking just to see if the autopilot manages, ooh, this is looking nice. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, this is looking good. I'm not just going to be testing to see if the autopilot stays in lane, I'm going to be testing to see how well the autopilot stays centered in the lane. And on this tricky little section of curve, that was pretty good. Still get the uh, next screen after doing two sharp turns like that. Ooh, this is looking slick. I, again, these things are always a little bit hard to quantify, but this seems like a noticeable improvement. <clears throat> and this is actually the, the test that I'm doing right now is actually the first test that I've done with this particular version. I haven't done any testing or even driving with autopilot. Um, prior to recording this video after receiving the software update. <clears throat> so we'll go 45 miles per hour for this section. Still no local road lane change. And although I haven't tested this myself from what I've read on the forums, it looks like some of the other features that we're constantly on the lookout for, like displaying vehicles in adjacent lanes. Um, still nothing on that yet. Go ahead and take over so I can make this right turn. Make the right turn, change into the left lane. <clears throat> All right, engage autopilot, see how it handles the merge. Usually the old versions actually did a pretty good job of this section too. Hmm. This seems quite assertive. It, it briefly for a moment there thought about switching over into the turn lane, but uh, that was a much faster decision-making process than what I've seen in the past. Usually it, it'll start to steer over for about half a second. That one was like a fraction of a second. Like I could just barely tell that the car was even thinking about it. Also on the lookout to see if the car is picking up on speed limit signs now. That would be nice. So it's 40 miles per hour. I'm going to bump it up to 45. Let's see how it handles this tricky section. Ooh. Well done. Oh, no, that is interesting. So one thing that I noticed there is after it started curving to the right, when this when the road demanded to see it did the same thing there on the turn light, it just barely blipped to the left for a second. Okay, so what I was saying is, on that section, after it curved to the right, when it needed to recenter back out to go straight again, let's see how it doesn't stop the car up here, it did it much earlier than I've seen in any of the previous autopilot versions. Oh, check this out. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Love it. Oh, it started stopping ahead of that stopped car so much sooner. Coming to a nice, gentle stop right here. Okay, no complaints about that. Now, one thing that I had noticed with the previous... All right, I'm going to let this guy get in here. Are we clear? Yes. Okay, now one thing that I had noticed <clears throat> in the previous version of Autopilot, just the, the version, literally one version before this one, was that the performance ahead of stopped cars did appear to be noticeably better. Again, it's always a little hard to quantify because, you know, any number of circumstances, light levels, um, exact road conditions, size and shape of the car that you're stopping ahead of, um, heck, even maybe the color of the car could potentially impact this. All right, let's see what it does. Uh, get nervous, get nervous. Oh, dude, that is awesome. <laughs> Yes, every previous version of Autopilot that I have seen on the Hardware 2 cars would have plowed into the back of that car if I didn't manually take over. That was gorgeous. All right, engaging Autopilot. 35 miles an hour. Are you reading out speed limit sign? It doesn't look like you are. But you are doing a great job of staying in the lane. So whereas in these previous tests, I would notice that... Um, <clears throat> 
I was really grading the car based on whether or not it successfully stayed in the lane. It does appear to be, it's turning more assertively, and it doesn't appear to be um, coming nearly as close to the edge of the lane line as, as it was in previous versions. Okay, all right. All right, let's bump back up. Uh, it was a little fast there, sorry. All right, so 30 miles an hour. It's a little difficult. The um, recording rig actually obscures my view of the uh, driver's instrument panel, so I can sometimes accidentally bump it up to a speed that I didn't mean to. Nicely done. Yeah, this is looking good. Cool. Whereas previous versions would successfully navigate this section, um, they would also kind of make me look like I'm an inattentive driver because they would come a little bit close to the lane lines on either side, <coughs> particularly around the turns. This seems, yeah, I mean, it's, it's always difficult to quantify, but this seems like it's doing a much better job of staying centered in the lane than the previous versions. Um, and as far as the, the straightaway sections here, like it feels dead center. That's great. All right, so I think we're good for, the, okay, let's see what it does with this truck, actually. I'm very curious. <laughs> nice. I don't know what this truck is doing, but the autopilot's doing a great job of not running into it. The driver's looking at me like, why aren't you going around? <laughs> interesting. Now that's very interesting. So my view of the instrument panel, like I said, is obscured. Um, one of the things that I've noticed that people have mentioned on the forums, okay, we came a little into the bike lane there. Um, this is a tricky turn section though. So it seems forgivable. I'm gonna have to try it on some more sections of road. One thing that people have been saying is that the autopilot icon um, stays on for longer and more frequently than in the previous versions. So you can engage autopilot sooner. When I swerved to go around that truck, I noticed that the autopilot icon actually stayed available pretty much the entire time when I swerved into the center lane and then swerved back. That's not something I would have seen in previous versions. Interesting. All right, we're gonna have to do more testing with this one, but yeah, this is uh, this is probably the first autopilot update that I've seen in a while where there appear to have been some significant differences in the actual behavior. So yeah, more testing to be done. So I guess I'll end this video for now and we'll find some more interesting sections of road that we can uh, do some posts on. Thanks for watching.